welcome ladies and gentlemen this is a uh, video number 249 and uh, in a series of lectures on introduction to managerial economics today uh, i am uh, delivering lecture number 9 which is based on production theory and uh, estimation of production and uh, in this case i would like to first define what production is and uh, what is production function so first i will define production which is the process of combining various factors of production or uh, inputs in order to produce output and uh, it is the act of creating an output a good or a service which has the value and contributes to the utility of individuals uh, the area of economics that focuses on production is referred to as production theory which in many respects is similar to the consumption theory or consumer theory in economics uh, we also need to know what production uh, function is in economics a production function gives the technological and uh, technological relationship between quantities of uh, physical inputs and uh, quantities of uh, output a production function relates physical output of a production process to physical inputs or factors of production it is a mathematical function that relates to the maximum output that can be produced from a given amount of inputs usually capital and labor the production function therefore describes the boundary or frontier uh, representing the limit of uh, output obtainable from each feasible combination of uh, inputs the organization of product production in production process we use various inputs including labor capital and land and also entrepreneur some of the inputs or factors of production are fixed and uh, some of them are variable uh, however in the short run at least one inputs one input one input must be fixed and in the long run all inputs are variable here is the production function with two variable inputs labor and capital vertically we measure units of capital and horizontally we measure units of labor and these various uh, numbers or values uh, show the various level of outputs which can be produced by using various uh, combination of labor and capital we also call this uh, area uh, output space or uh, production space just like commodity space in consumer theory here in producer theory we have uh, production space uh, then we start with the production function with one variable input when only labor is variable and all other inputs are fixed then the total production q is a function of labor only because we hold other uh, factors of production constant Marginal product of labor is the change in total product due to a unit change in labor and average product of labor is uh, equal to total product divided by labor the production or output elasticity of labor is equal to the ratio of margin productivity of labor divided by average productivity of labor in this table uh, we have uh, calculated the total output of labor marginal product of labor average product of labor and uh, output elasticity of labor which is uh, defined by MPL divided by APL uh, this is the geometric or uh, graphical representation of uh, this uh, table that you just observed the upper portion of this figure shows total product it is increasing at a decreasing rate then it reaches maximum and after that uh, it uh, declines and in the lower diagram you see the margin product or which is uh, first increasing and then decreasing reaches 0 at 3.5 units of labor and then it uh, is negative and the average product of labor is uh, like a u-shaped curve a loose u-shaped curve in this diagram and uh, it is always positive uh, this is another diagram in which we have subdivided the uh, total production into three stages that is stage one of production and then there is stage two of production and then there is stage three of production stage one of production is up to the point when the marginal product of labor and average product of labor are equal to each other and uh, then starts the second stage of production up to point j and this is the region at which a uh, marginal rate of uh, marginal product of labor is uh, less than average product of labor and uh, uh, this is also known as economic region and production will take place in this region beyond j 
are beyond the point when marginal product of labor is zero starts the third uh, stage of uh, labor uh, how how can we optimally use the labor input for this we need to know marginal revenue product of labor which is equal to marginal product of labor times marginal revenue and marginal resource cost of labor and that is equal to the marginal cost uh, that is change in total cost due to a unit change in labor and that must be equal to wage and then the for the optimal use of labor marginal resource product of labor marginal revenue product of labor should be equal to marginal resource cost of labor and in this diagram it is clear that we have units of labor margin product margin revenue which is equal to price margin revenue product and then we have margin resource cost and uh, if we imply 3.5 units of labor then both the margin revenue of product and margin resource cost that is wage they are equal to each other and this is also evident in this diagram the negatively sloped line is the demand for labor or margin revenue product of labor and the horizontal uh, line is the margin resource cost which is given and both of them intersect each other at point where the uh, wage is equal to 20 and the amount of labor to be implied is 3.5 so that gives us optimal use of labor now we start with production function with two variable inputs and uh, here we assume that labor and capital are both variable and land and entrepreneur they are constant so we will define isoquants just like uh, indifference curves Isoquants are also known as production indifference curves, which shows various combinations of two inputs that can produce the same level of output. And the firms will use only combinations of two inputs that are in economic region of production or in stage two of production, and which is defined by the portion of each isoquant that is negatively sloped. And it can be seen in this uh, isoquant map. There are various isoquants associated with the various level of uh, output. And uh, here in this diagram, uh, we have segregated these isoquants uh, uh, by drawing uh, the ridge lines. Uh, one is upper ridge line and one is a lower ridge line. And, and these ridge lines uh, uh, define isoquants. And uh, this area between the two ridge lines is uh, economic region. And production will take place in this region. Uh, beyond the ridge lines, the slopes of the isoquant become positive. Uh, which are against the characteristics of the isoquant. So, uh, production will take place in uh, the uh, economic region or the stage 2 for both the inputs. Uh, we will also define marginal rate of technical substitution, which is the rate at which one input is substituted for another, and that is equal to the ratio of the margin product of labor and margin product of capital. Uh, here in this uh, diagram, we show that uh, there are four isoquants and there is isocast. And the slope of the isocast and the slope of the uh, isoquant are exactly equal at point R. So this gives us the um, optimal combination of the inputs, which gives us maximum amount of output to be produced with a given level of inputs. Any other uh, combination of uh, inputs will not give uh, output equal to 12Q. That will be then output will be lower than that. Uh, here are two, these are the usual uh, isoquants which are negatively sloped, convex to the origin and non-intersecting. Here are the two extreme cases. In the left hand side, uh, the isoquants are negatively sloped but they are straight line. And uh, these are the isocosts when the two inputs are uh, perfect substitute. If labor and capital are perfect substitute, then isoquants will be like this. If labor and capital are perfect complements then isoquants will be L-shaped like this. Uh, there are some more isocast and this is the definition of isocast. It represents all combination of labor and capital that a firm can purchase with the same amount of total cost. And uh, here is the just like budget line this is the uh, uh, isocast line and uh, this is the wage rate this is amount of labor this is rate of interest this is amount of capital and if we solve this equation for k then we get this where c divided by r is the intercept and this is the slope w by r is the slope this is the price ratio of the two inputs and l is the amount of uh, labor and here in this diagram there are three different optimal com input combination uh, one equilibrium is this one is at e and one is at f and if we join these various uh, 
optimal combination of the two inputs or various equilibria of the producer uh, with the help of a straight line we call that expansion path it means that if we have more and more inputs and more and more uh, money available then the uh, firm will expand along this line which is known as the expansion path uh, here are some more combination input substitution in production the optimal combination of gasoline and uh, driving time this is an example from us and uh, now we will discuss return to scale uh, let us suppose the production function Q is, is a function of LK and uh, now suppose that we want to increase labor and capital by some proportion H then output will also change. So if the change in the input and change in the output is the same that is if lambda is equal to H then we have constant return to scale. If lambda is greater than H then we have increasing return to scale and if lambda is less than H then we have decreasing return to scale and here in these diagrams you see here inputs are doubled from 3 to 6 output is also doubled from 100 to 200 so the uh, proportion of change in both inputs and output is the same so we have constant return to scale here output is more than doubled so there is increasing return to scale and here output is less than doubled uh, where inputs are in doubled so here are decreasing returns to scale so ladies and gentlemen there are three ty types of uh, return to scale constant return to scale increasing return to scale and uh, decreasing returns to scale uh, then we have some empirical production function the most widely used production function in economics is that of Cobb Douglas production function which is given by the equation Q is uh, equal to a k raised to the power a and uh, small a and l raised to the power b where Q is the output level and uh, A is the um, constant or the this this is also known as the efficiency parameter A and uh, K is the amount of capital and uh, raised to the power small A that is the proportion of uh, uh, output uh, attributed attributable to uh, K and B is the um, share of uh, labor in total output so if you want to estimate this you cannot estimate this directly so we will take natural log on both sides and then we will get natural log of Q is equal to natural log of A plus A natural log of K plus B natural log of uh, L and this is known as double log or uh, log log model. We also call this uh, constant elasticity uh, production function. Here the coefficient will give elasticity rather than the slope. Uh, there are some other production functions like uh, CEF and we also have translog production function there are some other production function but uh, Cobb Douglas production function is one of the widely uh, most widely used uh, production function in economics uh, some agricultural economists use the translog production function translog cost function and translog uh, profit function and uh, the students of economics uh, must be aware with uh, these various uh, types of uh, production functions ladies and gentlemen I hope this was quite informative for you and if you like uh, uh, the video you can um, write your comments in the comment section and uh, I would like you to click on this red button so that uh, and then do not forget to click on the bell icon so that you get updated and notification and notif notified uh, when I will upload some other videos uh, uh, in this uh, playlist or uh, in some other playlist and uh, then you can share are uh, with your students and uh, colleagues thank you very much for watching this video uh, see you in uh, another video